Hello guys, uh, this is Naveen here. Welcome to uh, Java Interview Question Series. So guys, today I'm going to cover one more array <coughs> uh, array problem that uh, how to find out the largest number and the smallest number in the given integer array. Okay, in the given integer array, obviously we have to find out the number and it can be your uh, positive integer also and it can be a negative integer also. Okay, so it's a very famous interview question that okay, how will you find out the largest Okay, integer number in the given array and the smallest integer number in the given array. Okay, so let's create a class and uh, let's see my class name is smallest and largest number. Okay, select the main method, click on finish and uh, let's see the given array is like that int uh, my array name, let's see numbers. Okay is equal to let's see some number is let's like this uh, i would say minus minus 10 comma 24 comma 5 50 comma okay like uh, then minus 88 comma and some larger number like this okay like this okay so let's give some space so that you will understand properly okay so this is an so according to this array the largest number is this and the smallest number is minus 88 right this is a minus in negative integer so minus 88 is the smallest number and but and this is the largest number so how will you figure it out how will you find out that okay this is the largest number and this is the lowest number okay so this is a very famous interview question there are high chances okay they will ask okay such kind of questions now what i'll do first i'll do one thing that i'll create two integer variables let's see int uh, I'll say largest is equal to whatever the array is there the first location okay that this is nice minus 10 is available on zeroth location so I'll store zero okay so numbers of number which is available on zeroth location I'll store in largest variable okay same thing I'll create one smallest variable also smallest integer variable is equal to same thing I'll do numbers which is available at zeroth position okay so largest and largest and smallest both are pointing to I mean uh, taking the value from numbers which is available on zeroth index okay from this particular array right so largest and smallest I have written like this okay now very simple first I'll start my for loop because I have to iterate it so single for loop we have to write int let's see int i is equal to and then I'll start my index loop from i equal to instead of zero I'll start my loop from 1 because the zeroth location I have already stored in largest and smallest number okay so simple i is equal to 1 and then i less than up to the length of this particular array numbers dot length and then i plus plus right i equal to 1 and i less than numbers dot length and i plus plus now what I'll do I'll compare this array like this if okay if numbers of i i is equal to 1 numbers of i is greater than equal to largest okay we will debug this code also don't worry if numbers of i is greater than largest not equal to greater than largest it means i equal to 1 i equal to 1 means this is 0 and this is 1 if 24 is greater than okay 24 is greater than largest what is the value of largest largest is minus 10 if 24 is greater than minus 10 what i'll do i'll initialize my largest variable I'll change the value of largest largest is equal to the number of i okay numbers of i right this is also fine and then I'll put one else if condition else if okay else if if numbers of i just vice versa if numbers of i is okay less than okay smallest okay then what I'll do I'll initialize my smallest with numbers of i okay is equal to numbers of i right okay so I put one else if condition okay like that and then what I'll do simple I'll print like this system dot out dot print and simple let's see simple I'll say that slash n given array is first I'll print this given array okay so how to print the given array simple you have to write arrays dot to string method to just print okay arrays dot to string and uh, this is my numbers 
okay so it will print that particular array okay and then what i'll do simple i'll print largest and smallest variable over here so system dot out dot print ln simple i'll write uh, largest number is okay plus largest variable i'll print okay and system dot out dot print ln i'll print smallest number is smallest okay so first let's run this program it's working or not and then i'll okay i'll show you by debugging the code okay it's very simple uh, problem but don't be confused okay you need to know the approach okay the best approach you have to tell because you won't get time to okay think about it okay at a time of interview okay immediately they will i mean they are expecting okay i mean within five or ten minutes you have to solve this problem okay so hardly you will get only five minutes or maybe 10 minutes otherwise if you don't if you're not able to give the answer within five minutes i mean they will move uh, uh, to the next question okay so make sure that okay you know the approach very well so let's run it and let's see if this logic is working fine or not so if you run it so this is a given array given array is this and the largest number is this correct nine eight seven six five six and the smallest number is minus 88 okay so our code is fine now let's debug the code i'll put a debugger on line number 11 and right click and simple debug as java application okay so first time okay this is a number given number is this fine and largest currently is i'll execute just press this f6 icon so now the what is the value of largest largest is minus 10 and smallest is also minus 10 fine okay largest is also minus 10 and smallest is also minus 10 now what i'll do i'll start my i is equal to 1 okay the length i mean the loop i'll start from i equal to 1 it will come i equal to 1 so number of i numbers of i what is the value of numbers of i the numbers of i is i equal to 1 is 24 24 is greater than largest what is the largest value largest is minus 10 yes condition is satisfied so it will come inside the if condition it will come inside the if condition and then largest will become numbers of i so numbers of i is equal to number of 1 is equal to 24 so largest will become 24 right so i'll write like this largest will become 24 see largest will become 24 so now between i have compared these two variables okay these two elements in which 24 is the largest number then i'll move forward okay again i equal to 1 now and number of i i means 2 2 means 50 50 greater than largest yes again 50 is greater than 24 so again largest will become 50 right if you check largest is now 50 right fine this is also fine again i equal to okay 3 so number of i i equal to 3 so 0 1 2 3 okay number of i will become minus 88 is greater than largest no minus 88 is not greater than 50 so it will come inside the else if part it will come inside the else if part it will check okay numbers of i is minus 8 is less than smallest smallest is minus 10 is it correct or not okay it is correct so smallest will become what is the value of a smallest is minus 8 okay so it will become minus 8 which is also fine now again i equal to 4 i equal to 4 means the value is this fourth value 0 1 2 3 and 4 9 8 7 6 5 6 okay so numbers of i is 9 8 7 6 5 6 is greater than largest of course it is greater than largest so largest will become it is greater than 50 so largest will become this 9 8 7 6 5 6 right so it will become 9 8 7 6 5 6 okay and then it will move fine this is also fine okay and then okay i will become uh, 5 sorry is, uh, yeah 5 so 5 is not greater than length okay array length so obviously it will come out of the for loop okay so the final result is largest is equal to 987656 and the smallest is equal to minus 88 very simple solution and then we are printing on the console simple like this so let's check with some boundary value let's see 987656 okay comma 657 also i'll write now only the difference between these two elements is one okay so difference of one so let's see if it is working yes 7657 and minus 88 also it's working let's see i'll write minus 100 okay minus 100 with a different value we are checking 
fine this is also working fine with minus 100 if i check with all the negative integers let's see these are all negative minus 88 minus this okay minus this so what is the highest okay largest number the largest number is okay the minus is the smallest number so minus 24 is a okay largest number because minus 24 is obviously greater than minus 100 minus 15 minus 80 because this is a negative integer and the small uh, and the smallest uh, smallest number is minus 987657 this is the smallest number okay so like this like this also we can check check with zero let's see it is working with zero so with zero yes the largest number is zero and the smallest number is minus because all these are negative integers and zero is always greater than all the negative integers let's see i'll remove some of the negative okay like this this is not negative this is also not negative now check so highest number will be this guy and the lowest number will be minus 88 so let's see this is also working fine right okay so let's see what i'll do i'll do one thing check with the only one number let's see i have only 10 so obviously highest will be 10 and lowest also will be 10 because only we have one element so okay largest is also 10 and smallest is also 10 let's see i'll provide 10 comma 20 okay so this is the highest and this is the lowest like 20 is the largest and 10 very simple let's see i'll write both 10 and 10 so i'm doing these kind of testing and you have to give these kind of test cases also right? it's very important 10 comma 10 okay so again largest number is also 10 and smallest number is also 10 like this okay like this let's say i'm giving one more 0 comma 0 so again like this 0 0 let's say i'm giving 0 minus 1 so minus 1 is the smallest and 0 is the highest like that okay so <clears throat> all these things guys you have to provide all these kind of test cases make sure that okay uh, your code is absolutely working fine for the given array either you have one element multiple elements negative integers okay positive integers everything it should work fine okay so like that this is a very simple solution but make sure that okay right approaches always initialize two variables largest and smallest with first number okay this particular first number and then compare like this if it is greater than then store in the largest number if it is a smaller then store in the smallest number and then just print it out of the for loop that's it very simple okay and the time complexity will be is equal to capital o of n okay because we have only one for loop so simple it will be o n okay we are not using two for loop simple o n right fine so that's all okay so please practice with this question guys it's very important interview question and it looks very easy but please practice once you practice then only you will be able to give the answer properly and you have to give the answer with all the test cases that with the different values you are checking and they will ask you that okay let's see i have only one number or two number then how will you do that so make sure that okay your code is absolutely working fine for all the given array either it is one zero value or multiple values okay cool so thank you so much and please subscribe to the channel if you're really liking this particular series and there are a lot of videos are coming in future so please click on subscribe button and click on okay uh, notification bell also and uh, i'll see you in the next session then thank you so much